I didn't know that Sam was testifying. I'm not surprised. She'll tell them what happened in chapel, and I'll look even that much more at your I'm prepared for this. Sam's testimony may not be as damning as you think. It's been handled. It's not advisable to conduct your no. own business in a courtroom. It could have a direct bearing on the case. Counselor, call your next witness. I call Samantha McCall to the stand. I was alone in the hospital chapel when Alexis confronted me. Do you recall what she said? Yes. <clears throat> she begged me to let the doctors induce labor so she could use the stem cells from my baby's umbilical cord to save Christina, but there was at least a 10% chance that my child wouldn't survive, so I said I couldn't. And what was her reaction? She got angry. She said that I was letting Christina die because I was selfish. Those were her exact words? Yes. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is taking witnesses' comments out of mm -hmm. context. Overruled. Continue. Alexis said Christina's death would be on my head. Did that upset you? Yes, she was yelling at me. And I just, I, I couldn't take it anymore. And I tried to say, okay, that I would, I would do it, I would induce labor, and I collapsed. I collapsed, I felt this terrible pain, and, and I just went down. Ms. Davis asked for your help initially, is that correct? Yes. Now, it's been argued that she was desperate, she was fearing for her daughter's life, and that the stem cells from your baby's umbilical cord were Christina's only hope. That's right, yeah. So it would be accurate to say that Ms. Davis was fighting for her daughter's life? Yes. No further questions, Your Honor. You may step down.